The Afghanistan National Cricket Board was founded in 1995 and it was only recognized as an affiliate member of the ICC in 2001. I think we are at the post-war country. Uh, we are, people believe more on their financial things, on direct things, you know, they hardly believe on a sports. It was a bit difficult to, to, to convince uh, the high authorities within the country that how much this game has the power. However, less than two decades later, Afghanistan is one of 12 countries with test cricket status, having soared through the sports world rankings facing opposition as varied as Argentina and the Netherlands before coming up against the powerhouses in world cricket. They're, they're, they are strongly motivated. The number of young people going to, sorry, going to university and those sorts of things, various forms of study, various forms of training is, is really quite striking. And just, many of them are doing it, battling to do it. They work during the day and they go to study at night. This is really obvious around Kabul particularly and it does indicate that kind of self-reliance and that desire to achieve. The national team's success brought people joy and the introduction of domestic cricket was a huge boon to the people. I didn't see so much in Afghanistan, but this is the first time in Afghanistan I saw cricket in Afghanistan. As we know that the initiative state of Afghanistan for this cricket team, they have to uh, help a lot our team to get uh, uh, bigger and uh, get uh, some matches away to their team and their tournament and base coach. They have to send Afghanistan to God better the Afghanistan team. Yes, yes, it is uh, very, very, very good uh, than the last year in the broadcast because we, uh, the camera or the um, everything is very good in, in high, high quality. We like it, it very much. As the game grew all over the country, more jobs were available in the sport and attracted a lot of interest. Yeah, it's, um, it's very important and also it's very interesting. Um, before I, uh, I didn't um, uh, watch any sports shows, but um, I, do, I don't think it's uh, interesting for the sports, but right now um, I have uh, a lot of interest in to watch the um, this show and also to direct the um, Kirke show of Panyanis. I have realized that next year I have, <laughs> because of the situation is not, you know, uh, we will uh, do our best. The national team's successes were inspirational in the game's popularity with youngsters as demand in the game gripped the country. I mean, we've seen a revolution in, in sports and also a revolution in media. Both of them have, have been very, very active and they've been uh, growing very, very fast. And the two have got, had great impact in, in engaging the youth, of course. Uh, both media and, and sports are uh, contributing to society, they're contributing to the growth of the uh, uh, youth. And I think, on the other hand, youth have been a great part of the two. Cricket's success in Afghanistan is indicative of a people's yearning for opportunity and their desire to achieve great things despite their struggles. Yeah, there's a tremendous amount of that. The, the Afghans are a very proud people and the, the young people who make up, the UN says, about 75% of the population under 35, so it's amongst the youngest countries in the world. The whole future of the country, I think, is much brighter than uh, you might find, uh, dis discover by reading in the media. There's real hope in this country. The media at the moment are saying everyone's lost hope in Kabul. Drive around this city and see the amount of construction going on. On every block there's something new being built. So that people have a lot of hope. The young people have tremendous hope. Cricket is largely young people, even the administrators of the cricket. I don't think we've got anyone over 40. We love Afghanistan, we love cricket!